Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Winter. I work at the Jean Hales Research Unit, School of Public Health and Preventive Medicine at Monash University. I specialise in the mental health of new mums and dads and their adjustment to life with a new baby. At the Jean Hales Research Unit, we're really interested in the bond between parents and babies. This is a really important bond. And if a healthy bond doesn't form between parents and babies, it can have long-term consequences for the baby's growth and emotional development at a later stage. Most of the research on parents and infants bonding has been on mothers. We are really interested in finding out more about fathers and their special relationships with babies. So with the help of maternal child and family health nurses in Victoria, we recruited 270 fathers from the community and we interviewed them about six months after their babies were born. Some of our key findings were, fathers had a poorer bond with their babies if they had a specific type of personality. For example, they were a bit unassertive or oversensitive to the opinion of others. And if they had symptoms of depression or anxiety. The relationship with their partner also had a big impact on the bond with the baby. So if they experienced their partner's interactions towards them as caring and affectionate, they had a positive bond with the baby. But if they found that their partners criticised them and the way they looked after their babies, they had a poorer bond with their babies. So what can you do to improve the bond between a father and a baby? So we know from previous research that criticism is very destructive to a relationship between mothers and fathers and to the mental health of the mother and the father. But this new research has shown that it's also destructive to the bond between a father and the baby. So here are three things you may be able to do to improve these relationships. Firstly, we know that you're very tired and you're very stressed in those early months. It's a very difficult time when you come home with a baby. But try and be mindful of how you speak to your partner and try and avoid criticism and rather say things in a supportive and positive way. If you feel that your partner is being overcritical, find the time to talk to him or her about it. While the baby's asleep, perhaps make a time to discuss this and tell your partner how this makes you feel and work together on ways of saying things in a more supportive and positive way. And if you have concerns about your own mental health or if you feel your partner is a bit low or anxious, try, speak to a trusted health professional like a maternal and child health nurse or a GP they have some very, very good suggestions and will be able to direct you in the right direction. Jean House for Women's Health has some fantastic resources for new parents. Um, some of them can be found on the website whatwerewethinking.org.au. There's also a free app which you can download. Thank you for taking the time to hear more about our research. If you have any questions about the study or about the findings, please feel free to contact us at the Jean House Research Unit. Enjoy this very special time with your baby.